There are many mines in Norway which can be visited these days, but there's only one sink mine, the Almana Juve. This video has been produced in collaboration with Discovery Route and Energy Hotel in Neslaku. You find more information at the end of the video. It's located in Sauda in the upper Ryfylke, between Bergen and Stavanger. The mine was only open for 18 years between 1881 and 1899, when a drop in sink price caused the mine to become unprofitable. The main was shot down and everything was left in place until this day. So you will get a very authentic feeling of how it was to work in the mine. With the creation of the National Tourist Road through the Ryfylke, Statens Veivesen, the Norwegian Road Administration, mandated the famous Swiss architect Peter Sumthor to design and construct the welcome center for the mine. It consists of four buildings, the cafe and souvenir shop, the museum, the shelter where the sightseeing tour starts, and the toilet next to the road. The four buildings are in typical Sumthor style. The buildings are using wood and metals to represent the mine and the poverty of the people who lived there. Construction began in 2008. When we visited Soda in 2011, we were told that it would open in 2012. But not before 2016 was the installation finally open. Not to mention that due to the delays the costs went totally out of control. The inside of the building should make you feel like you're inside the mine. Good idea in theory, but in our opinion totally impractical as the ceiling is very low, and there is no place to get around, and you see very bad because of the black walls and poor lightning. The mine can be visited during the summer season with two daily guided tours. Outside the season, tours can be booked. Check Sauda Ferries link in the description. The tour starts at the shelter. The visitors get a helmet and a lamp. You will need decent clothes and shoes, as the mine is both cold and wet. First, the path leads along the gorge. After 900 meters, the entry of the mine is reached. There are no built-in lights in the mine, so all visitors must now turn on the helmet light. On the video, it looks like if it's quite well lit, but that's because the camera we use is very light sensitive and we processed the image. Beware the ceiling is low, that's why everybody has to wear helmets. You'll walk around one and a half kilometers. There are completely rusted tracks from the old mine train still on the ground. The guide explains everything you need to know about the mine. At the end of the mine you will reach a place where a lot of old equipment is. Here you will also get a demonstration with what kind of light the workers used. They used carbide lights, which were as powerful as a match. You will see sink veins, rare stelbite mineral deposits and also copper minerals. Then it's just a walk back to the entry. The actual mining tour will take just under two hours, so you'll have to plan at least two and a half the whole tour. The sink mine Almanajuve is located along road 520, about five kilometers from Sauda. Direction Rørdal over the Saudafjelle. The parking place is located next to the designer toilet. Check Saudaferie's website for more information. So that's it. We hope this video will help you to plan your next vacation in Norway. Please give a like to this video, and if you haven't done it, then subscribe to this channel. Check out our Facebook and Instagram for bonus content. Discovery Route is an alliance of hotels and touristic companies along Route 13 between Stavanger and Bergen. The original Discovery Route was established in the 1880s to allow rich Englishmen to experience the wilderness of Norway. Also today you will find Norway's iconic landmarks along the route like Prekestolen, Låtefossen and the Hardanger Fjord. Check their website for more information and booking. Above the beautiful Suldalsvatne, you will find an Hotel in Nesflaten. An Hotel is family run and decorated in minimalistic design. The hotel was designed in the 60s by the renowned architect Geir Grung and was built in connection to the nearby power station. The architectural work consists of a housing estate, 
power station and the building which today is Energie Hotelle. The rough concrete brutalism breaks with what you would expect to find in a small village in western Norway. Local food, industrial history, architecture and culture are key points with the lake and the surrounding mountains as backdrop. The hotel is located by road 13, so guests have easy access to activities and attractions in Suldalm and Upper Rifylke. Parking is free, free charging is offered to electric car owners.